So I'm getting ready to head out, but I need to get my face ready to face the world. I'm gonna try out a new foundation, the Always On Skin Balancing Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and adaptogens. So skincare, right, along with makeup. Who doesn't love that? The color I have is T10N. Hoping it's the right color for me. Here it is. I already have on some sunscreen that I put on earlier, but I'm going to try this first on my palm and just see what happens. Oh, I thought it would have a little bit more of a kind of like a orange hue because my face tends to need that. But let's see, it's not prejudge. Let's put it on and see how it feels. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Always On foundation and I'm going to put it on the sides of my cheek, my forehead and underneath my chin. I'm going to use my fingers to rub it in. I personally like to use my fingers to rub new foundation. Helps me to get a better sense of the formula by rubbing it in with my fingers. Now this is drying down really fast so you have to work really quickly. I'm actually glad I went in with my fingers. Okay, so that is the coverage with just that little bit that I took and put on my skin. So I wish this had a little bit more warmth. It doesn't have that. Again, I wish it had just a slightly orange undertone is the best way I can put it. Feel free to just correct me if I'm wrong about the undertone. It's a little bit more on the paler side. So the reason why I think it looks pale is because I basically do not have the right color for my skin tone but i decided to check and see how buildable the always on skin balancing foundation was so i rubbed some into my skin and now i'm tapping some into the skin and i think if you tap the foundation into your skin with a beauty blender a brush or a beauty sponge that should all work well so i do plan to head over to ulta because i know it's available there to find my perfect shade so I did another pump to build up the shade and just cover up my skin a little bit more because I really wanted to get just a better idea of what the color match and shade really look like when I'm building it. And again, it dries down really quickly, so you have to work well. I'm actually not mad at that. I feel like it's going to stay put. In a lot of ways, I feel like this can look like skin if it was actually the right shade for me. Again, it just lacks a little bit of warmth. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So this is my final look. The great thing about this foundation, as I mentioned earlier, is that it does have hyaluronic acid and adaptogens. So we all know that that's really good. Adds hydration. It's really working on your skin while you're wearing makeup. And that's honestly a win-win. I'm going to finish getting dressed and then I'm going to run out. But... Not so bad, right? Like I just tried to add some warmth back into my skin using blush. I don't do a lot of heavy makeup when I'm running out to do errands. I really wanted to do more than a makeup, no makeup look. Maybe for someone else, this is like really light makeup. But for me in general, this is more makeup than I normally wear. But I'm really curious about how it's going to last. I'm happy to report back to you all later in terms of how it's gonna wear as I run my errands. But Again, hoping to find a slightly better match with a little bit more warmth. So my complexion or really close to my complexion and you did not get a T10N, but you got another color, especially if it has a little bit more maybe orange. I think you get what I'm trying to say. Let me know what color you got, like tag me. I'd love to come and check out your video and show support and also like learn about how the always on skin balancing foundation worked for you. Personally for me, I also liked how quickly it dried down. I don't like um, makeup that still feels like I can feel it. And I personally don't feel like I can feel this. I feel like it's going to stay on and that's really, really important. But yeah, so I don't have any primer. I don't have any like fixer spray. I just don't tend to have those things, so I don't use them. This is my final result with more makeup than I generally would wear for running errands. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see y'all in the next one.